Happy Independence Nigeria. Welcome to Sports on Breakfast Central. I am Favor Itwa. We'll begin with stories from the world of rugby, where South Africa are on the brink of the Rugby World Cup quarterfinals after a bonus point victory over Tonga. The Springboks scored three first half trials through Kabuz, Renach, Kanamudi, and Dion Fori against the much improved Tonga. The vital four try came through Jesse Krell before Willie Le Roo, Marco Van Staden, and Quagga Smith went over. The game between Scotland and Ireland next Saturday will decide the final order of Group B. Gregor Townsend's side now need to beat Ireland and deny Andy Frower's team a bonus point in Paris next Saturday to qualify. If they manage it, Springboks will top the pole. A way to find out if the defending champions will go straight to the quarterfinals. And now to football, Nigeria Premier League club Rivers United are true to the group stages of the CAF Confederations Cup after the pride of Rivers a face-off at 12 Filante of Burkina Faso, resulting in a final score of 2-0 in favor of the home team at the Adokie Amir Simaka Stadium in Port Harcourt. The turning point of the match came when Alex Oyowa scored a goal, sparking wide jubilation among the crowd and giving Rivers United a 1-0 lead. As the match reached its final moment, 90 minutes played and 10 minutes of added time indicated, Rivers United were awarded a third penalty. Alex Oyowa calmly sent the goalkeeper the wrong way, securing a 2-0 victory for Rivers United. Interesting one for uh, Rivers United as, uh, of course, uh, they look forward uh, to, of course, be in the group stage and represent Nigeria well. And now to a final story in the world of football. Napoli striker Victor Osime says he has unwavering love for the club and has urged unity among his fan base. The Serie A club were criticized for sharing the video on TikTok appearing to mock the Nigerian for missing a penalty last week, but said they never meant and they never mean to offend the 24-year-old. After scoring in Napoli's 4-0 win at Lecce on Saturday, Osime reiterated his love for Napoli on Instagram. Osime's agent threatened legal action against the club for the post, which has now been deleted while manager Rudy Garcia said midweek is invested 100% in the Serie A club despite the incident. Nigeria's sports minister, John Onwa Eno, said his country is pursuing diplomatic avenues with Italy over the incident and insisted the Nigerian government places a, a priority on protecting the welfare of its athletes. All right, I'll wait to see how it goes. For Victor Osime, he has come out to say he loves the club, he's with the club, and Nigerians should understand also. Well, we'll wait to find out what, how he does and what the transfer market holds for Victor Osime. And that's it on Sports Update of Breakfast Central. We'll now go straight to Olive and Osaoge standing by. Thank you so much. Uh, Victor Osime's story, very, very interesting. You know, still seeing how things played out. I heard that the uh, social media, you know, handler for Napoli has been fired. I'm not sure how true that is. Um, but if that's the case, then, you know, maybe they've also been able to take responsibility. But did they, did, did they need to take this long for them to issue an apology? Well, maybe well, not. I don't, did they, uh, well... Uh, the, technically, they didn't really. They, they only came out to say they didn't mean it that way. I mean, they didn't actually say we are sorry for doing this. Yeah. And secondly, for Victor Osime, some Nigerians are not happy with the fact that he came out to you know preach unity and said Nigeria should just let go of whatever has happened. Meanwhile, his agent was threatening to sue Napoli for that you know incident. So it's a mix of oh, no, Victor Osime is saying let's not. Let's not do so more the than what we've fighting for you, you're yeah. not so. No, no, no but I, I think he as a player also needs to be able to manage what the situation. If you take sides with your, your fans and your manager and all of that, with, you know, against the club, it's going to make things very, very tense for you in the club. So the club, yes, you know, both sides need to take, you know, a responsibility and somehow manage whatever. I've seen that he hasn't been celebrating when he scores. And the last two goals I scored for Napoli, he didn't celebrate. Um, but if he's going to enjoy his time there and, of course, hopefully win another a title for them, it can't be with all these things playing out. Let's assume that it was a mistake with social media handler. You push it aside. You know, at least manage, manage your fans, manage your manager, and manage the club also. And, and just play well, football. You should just come back That's and play for him. Yeah, yeah, it, it's one thing to also have that. It's another thing to say if it was an Italian player, for instance, it would have the same thing yes. happen too. Or maybe yeah, a player who is I, I a get it. I get it. I'm just saying that we've seen the... I mean, at least this is the worst that has happened so far. I hope it doesn't get worse than this. 
and it's best to manage it than to continue to push these tensions. But it's important to there. hold them to account as well. So yes, I, agree. I see both sides of the argument. I agree. And like Favor has mentioned, it's not enough to come out and say we did not mean it that way or we didn't intend that way. That's a that's not an apology. An apology is saying I take responsibility for what happened and I'm sorry that this happened and we'll ensure it doesn't happen again. Very true. I'm so glad that there wasn't any EPL this weekend. Thank you very much, Favor, for stopping <laughs> by. Uh, see you again. Thank you very much for having me. Right.